Hello Internet, welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In the last episode, we defeated Akos, and then Van Dam said he could get us to the Orion capital and some guy there would probably know how to get to the World Tree, which seems weird because there's no context for how he would know such a person. This time, I actually went ahead off screen and made some aux- or filled some aux cores to give to every blade except for Poppy because Poppy doesn't take aux cores. Uh, obviously we still have Critical Up 2 on Pyra, but now we also have Art Stealth 2, which reduces the aggro drawn from specials and driver arts by 7%, which is okay. It's not the best, but it's as best as we'll be able to get right now. Azami has Affinity Max Accuracy 1, which increases accuracy by 15% when at max affinity, and Light Defense Up 1, which reduces light damage received by 10%. Uh... Dromark has Helping Hand 1, which increases Blade Art duration time, which is going to be helpful for getting up chain attacks. And Break Resist 1, which boosts Break Resistance by 25%. It's... A break isn't, like, a huge threat for the player, but it still can get annoying when you have Break inflicted, because there are a surprising amount of enemies that can actually inflict Topple, too. Uh, and Korra has Helping Hand 1 and Endurance 1, which reduces damage taken by 10% when HP is 30% or lower. None of those are particularly good aux scores, but we can't really get good aux scores yet. Anyway, it's Van Damme time. Just letting you know, it's a good way to fawn Zemima from here. Plenty of monsters out there on the road. Make sure you've got yourselves all kitted up before we head out. Okay. All set? Then let's get our backsides over to Fonza Mima, pronto! Time to head out! You, Zuo! Take care of this place, yeah? Nay, nee what is? Leave it to us, boss. Boss? You're in a good mood, somehow. <laughs> I guess so. Well, take care! I honestly forgot about that cutscene with Jin, so I just thought the loading screen was taking an abnormally long time and the orchestral part wasn't supposed to, like the orchestral part with the entire choir and everything wasn't supposed to start playing just by showing the funny people watching us, but no, that cutscene with Jin is actually like cool. It's very reminiscent of the uh, the Darth Vader scene in Rogue One. Although this game came out before Rogue One, so I'm just going to say Rogue One stole that from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, although that's absolutely not correct. But, uh, yeah, we already have an objective marker right up ahead, it seems. That's not weird. Congratulations! <laughs> Looks like all the chat about the Aegis was true. Who are you?
That's a heavy burden you have there. Sure you're up to it, pipsqueak? See sense step aside and let the big boys take charge. Come on, yield the merchandise. Huh? What? Van Damme. Do you know this guy? Never seen him in my life. Bah! <gasps> Wait. Are you? <laughs> uh. Ugh. You really are a bunch of rinky-dink, bogus, stupid, no-mark drivers, aren't you? Behold the mighty Zeke Von Gembu, bringer of chaos! Mostly known as Zeke, and often addressed as the Zekenator! Behold my blade, Pandoria! And this is my sword, the Purple Lightning Dream Smasher! If you want a taste, come and get it! We're good. Good? No! W wait! Wait, you barbarians! Oh, this guy. I'm tired of him already. Gah. You think you lowlives can lick the three of us? Three of you? I count two. Lost someone. Huh? Oh, get a load of this. Our beloved mascot, Tartars, reveal yourself! Huh? Tartars? 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 Where, where, where are you, boy? Tartars! Oh! Hello, little guy. How are you? What are you doing out here all alone? <laughs> Tartars! Handling a man is a turtle. Uh, you could have just grabbed Pyra there. Why did he go for his turtle instead? Ugh, what an idiot. Uh, listen, whatever. She'll be mine soon enough. Got a problem with that? Then come at me and don't hold back. What? Is this guy for real? This fight is fairly standard. I'll talk more about Zeke later, but listen to this fucking sick music. <laughs> Try. Not bad. Ba 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 but wipe yourselves down and get ready for my super ultra mega move. We're waiting with bated breath for your super duper whatever. You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> Bringer of 
Chaos! Ultimate Lightning Fury Slash! Um... Whoa! <gasps> <gasps> Whoa, what just happened? They... What an idiot. Don't see that every day. Come on, that's enough nonsense. Indeed. Zeke is probably close to my favorite character in this game. He's not my favorite character, that's like a toss-up between Nia and Morag. But he's definitely up there. There's just something so endearing about him. He's very obviously a play on just the absurdity of general anime, or at least just the way that most Western audiences would see anime as insane. Uh, <laughs> And it, it just makes him fun to watch all the time. And for some reason, the bad lip syncing in the uh, in the localization of the game makes it way better to me. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me. There's just so much to love about Zeke that I feel like isn't talked about enough. We are getting completely ganged up on here. We need to flee immediately. There were like six enemies in that fight. These ones are going to join too as soon as we run past, so... Yeah. Don't feel afraid of fleeing battle, you can just take out the smaller enemy that goes to call other ones and then... Uh, <clears throat> and then run. Because you're most likely faster than all the monsters that are trying to fight you. And here we have Flammy. Really clever name, it's like Flamingo. This this brings me to another thing I want to say. Xenoblade needs to make up its mind. Do real world animals exist or not? Because Zeke has just a real turtle. It, it has a tail that does not look like an actual turtle's tail. But it, they they call it by the name Turtle. And there are a lot of animals in this series that have names that are similar to real world animals, like Flammy. But it's they've never just straight up called something what it's supposed to be based on until turders also there's an account on twitter uh that just posts a picture of turders every now and then and it's one of my favorite twitter accounts what's that supposed to mean i wasn't listening to the conversation until she said i think rex might be better off as he is what's what's wrong with rex <laughs> What, who brought up what about Rex? Was it Van Dam? I bet it was Van Dam, because I'm not used to hearing Van Dam conversations, because Van Dam is not the most useful member of the party for the entirety of the game. But he's always use more useful than Tora, which is good to know. No, we, lost the upper hand. we didn't lose the upper hand, Rex, we weren't even fighting in the first place. We're just going to keep running. You can just run from enemies on the way to uh, the capital. It's not the end of the world if you do. Uh, although I do recommend you fight at least some enemies to get extra experience because, I mean, it's an RPG. Obviously, you're going to want to get some experience. Uh, yeah, if you jump down to that, you die. I know from experience because of my first playthrough... I was trying to find any way I possibly could to, like, cheese getting to Fonza Mima. No, um, yeah, everything just wants to fight me today. But, uh, yeah, I, I tried finding, like, any way to get there that wasn't the legitimate way, because the legitimate way is legitimately confusing. <laughs> uh, it's not impossible by any means, it's just not something I'm completely a fan of. What? Just saw me. If it was the, it was the wolf, okay. Wolves are kind of unique enemies in that every time one of them locks on, all the wolves in the vicinity, in the vicinity do as well. Uh, because you, you've probably noticed by now there are some enemies that when they lock on to you do not, uh, do not have every other enemy in the vicinity lock on to you as well. Wolves are different. 
uh, but the vicinity is also very short. As you can see, that wolf over there is not interested because it's too far away. And here it comes now. Right on cue. Uh, I do recommend picking up some of the items that are dropped from enemies. It's not a huge deal to pick up all the gold, but things like aux cores that you'll find around can be extremely helpful to pick up, and I recommend you do so, because aux cores are one of the main parts of the battle system in this game that you're going to be relying on until the very end. Uh, I, I feel like I might have to speed up getting to Fonza Mima because it's going to take a while. I think I'll probably split it and do another episode, actually. That seems like a better use of time in general. Uh, but I know a more natural point to split it up, so I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> I love... I love that Gramps is always complaining to Rex now. It's like a complete role reversal of the way it was before, it's just nice. They have banter. There's another Rip Wolf. Well, hopefully it doesn't try to fight me or else I'll have to say Rip Wolf. Uh... Okay, I actually got down here in a way I didn't okay, know you could three. get down here. But also this Zyke Ansel has decided to fight, and I mean, okay, if you insist. Ansels are actually a little bit threatening, so if you feel like you're going to lose to them, you can just quit the battle. We had sniping Brent on Gormont earlier, that was an Ansel. It was a unique monster, granted, but it's still an Ansel, so it's a more threatening version of an already pretty threatening enemy. Uh, because it has several... It has several arts that actually, like, hit the entire party, including Feather Vein of Pain, as you just saw. It's... they can be a pain in the ass to take care of. Luckily, that one wasn't that much. Mint popper... mint potpourri. I don't know why I almost said poppery, but okay. Uh, that might hurt. Eh, it didn't hurt that much, but it still hurt. The day, is at an end. the day is at an end. At just the right time, too. Oh no. This quest is something I like to avoid until I actually want to do it. But it actually activates as soon as you get within a certain distance of it. And yeah, those enemies surrounding that person can kind of be a pain to take down. So, although it makes me seem like a terrible person, I'd rather just fight the Ignas that are up here. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm gonna back away a little bit so that Ansel doesn't lock on. Yeah, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we'll be getting to Fonzamima. See you guys then.